Hey guys, I've been playing Persona for Golden for the last 311 days, which brings us on to today, February 16th, day 312. Now, in the game of Persona for Golden, it takes, it, there's a big gap, it jumps ahead like over a month, and so instead of doing that and just doing shuffle time each day, I'm gonna do, instead, follow the suggestion made by Crafty12345, and play through Persona 4 Dancing All Night. And I think this makes sense because at when we left off, Yosuke talked about how we're going to make good times, have good memories up until we leave. And so many good times that we're going to be begging him to stop. And, I mean, if we've been dancing all night, sounds like that adds up with begging to stop. So, we're going to go ahead and play through Persona 4 Dancing All Night across the next, like, month until March 19th. And I'll have to figure out what the days, how many chapters we'll play through each day to end on the 19th. But for now, it took a while to get this set up, and so for today, we're just going to do Chapter 0, and then pick up starting at Chapter 1 tomorrow. So let's go ahead and try out the Story Mode. So I actually haven't played this game before. In Story Mode, you can enjoy the story of Persona 4 Dancing. First, select Mode to proceed. The mode will affect only Story Mode, and is separate from Free Dance difficulty. Let's do... Okay, I'm... I've played rhythm games before. I think I can handle it. Let's go ahead and do standard. Alright, and let's start with the opening. So I know, like, nothing about this. I'm not familiar with what the story is. I know the... I've seen the gameplay a long bit. Well then, that concludes this audition. We'll contact you individually with your results after some time. Thank, Thank you, sir! sir. Take care now. Thanks for everything. Thank you for staying so late. Thank you so much. See you. Uh -huh. Please excuse I'm sorry. Us. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excuse me? Yuko-san? Ah! <gasps> Is she gonna see the Midnight Channel on TV? Huh? Okay, I guess the not. Studio. was from the studio. Hey! What? What's going on? Hey, have you heard that rumor? Huh? Which Hello? one? When you look at some website at midnight, oh, there's this boy. weird video that plays on its own. It's hard to really make out much at first, but you can yeah, totally, you totally see should. this idol who should be dead dancing in it. When you watch the video to the end, supposedly you get taken away to the other side, and you never wake up. Okay, I guess it's more of a the ring type situation than this one. When you awaken, you are greeted with an unfamiliar sight. The floor, walls, even the ceiling, everything in the mysterious room is colored a deep ultramarine. Before you sits a similarly unfamiliar woman. That's Margaret! Oh, welcome to the Velvet Room. Uh, let's see, is there a... Is there a way to do auto-advance? Okay, there we go. Don't worry. This is merely a dream. The you in the real world is sound asleep. Having said that, you're no guest of this room. She fixes you with a piercing stare, as if appraising you before continuing on. Perhaps you've gone astray in your dream, and wandered into a realm beyond your ken. 
This is the Velvet Room, a place that exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Normally, only those who have agreed upon some form of contract may come here. After saying so, she turns her gaze downward, as if in contemplation. But nothing meaningless happens in this room. If you are here, I feel like the screen is flickering Very on the recording. I'll, I'll review that in an post and see if we can fix that for next time. Here. The woman before you straightens her posture slightly, then faces you directly. It seems she's going to tell you a story about someone other than yourself. Who does she intend to tell you about? Yes, I know just whose story to relate. <laughs> this is the tale of an unforgettable guest who kindled within my heart a flame that none of our countless visitors could match. I knew him as Yu Narukami. Mm -hmm. In overcoming a terrible ordeal that befell a certain town, he formed an irreplaceable bond with his friends. The power of their bond supported them. Through every trial, even when facing an adversary with inhuman powers, they remained undaunted throughout. <laughs> you seem perplexed. I'm not surprised. You could have no notion of what I'm speaking of, after all. In that case, I will show you a glimpse into the story after they overcame their ordeal. When the woman raises her hand, brilliant light slowly floods her surroundings. To be clear, this is not the story of the ordeal they faced. Hmm. <laughs> One might think of it as a festival that they performed in, at the risk of their own lives. <laughs> okay. So we started the opening, and we're gonna go ahead, wrap it up here for today. And I could tell the flickering was getting pretty bad on the screen. I'll look into that, see if we can fix it, find some workaround for tomorrow. But for now, that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to shovel time. All right, this is actually the last card in the deck, so we'll open a new deck for tomorrow and start going through them. And it should be the final deck for the playthrough, so getting close to the end, but not quite there yet. Still got quite a bit to go, but today's card is the Judgment Arcana in the upright position. So this is the card represented by the the team, the whole group, as they start trying to find who's the murderer in Persona for Golden. And so let's go ahead and see what fate has in store for us. The traditional judgment meaning focuses on the moment when we reflect and evaluate ourselves and our actions. It is through self-reflection that we can have a clearer and objective understanding about where we are now and what we need to do in order to grow as humans. The judgment card appearing in a reading signifies that you're coming close to the significant point in your life where you must start to evaluate yourself. To see this card can also indicate that you are in a period of awakening, brought on by the act of self-reflection. You now have a clearer idea of what you need to change and how you need to be true to yourself and your needs. This can mean making small changes to your daily life or making huge changes that not only affect you but the people close to you. The Judgment card reminds us that we all will be faced with choices that will have an outstanding, have an astounding effect for your entire life. The card brings to mind moments where actions you have taken have changed the course of your path for good. There may have been a moment where there is no looking back. The, consequ the consequences of those actions eventually will catch up to you, and this card seems to indicate that this is the time. You may have to let go of the past so you can move forward with your plans to have a new life. Okay. I mean, I think it's very easy to feel burdened by our past and think that the way we used to be is we're constrained to that. And the reality is we can begin anew, take a different direction, try something new, try something else, and really branch out, pursue things and see where they lead rather than just feeling like we have to stay the same and what people expect us to be. But I think it's definitely worth checking out, trying out things and seeing what fits best for you, even if it's definitely very new from what you're used to. But that's going to be another card down and another day done. So that's going to wrap it up for, for, for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey and see the rest of the playthrough for some for dancing all night. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.